Now, still talking about economic matters, Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, says a neighboring countries must engage with Nigeria before the Nigerian border would be reopened. The border was closed a few months ago due to the substandard product that are smuggled and dumped into the Nigerian market. Emifili, who spoke with State House correspondent at the closed door meeting with President Mohamed Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja, claimed that the Nigerian economy is doing well with the closure, which he said is helping to create more jobs for Nigerians, while local producers of rice and poultry and other products are now able to sell their goods. Emifili said the Apex Bank and the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development will continue to encourage the production of rice in Nigeria, just as they fund farmers by giving them loans to buy seedlings, fertilizers, or some of the herbicides that they need for their rice production. Border closure on the economy of Nigeria are just used two products, poultry and rice. The benefit is that it has helped to create jobs for our people. It has helped to bring our rice milling, integrated rice mill that we have in the country, also bring them back into business again, and they are making money. The CBN governor, however, maintained that the borders would not be closed in perpetuity as government will only reopen the borders when there is concrete engagement with countries that are involved in using their port and countries as landing ports for bringing in goods that are smuggled into Nigeria. Gentlemen, we are not saying that, um, that the borders should be closed in perpetuity, but that before the border can be reopened, there must be concrete engagements with countries that are involved in using their ports and their countries as landing ports for bringing in goods that are smuggled into Nigeria. That engagement must be held. M.A. Fili was the last visitor to President Mohammed Buhari before the president took off to Saudi Arabia to attend the Economic Forum, the Future Investment Initiative in Riyadh. Saudi Arabia.